hate to do this one more time today. It's other stuff I should be doing, but okay. I started a topic about uh, Prince Charles, now King Charles, Prince William, his son Prince William. Excavating, unearthing bones of their it's not even their ancestry really uh but it's a scam it might be related somehow to it but i doubt as for how much these people really are related what they wanted what they always craved what they always craved after that was actually a russian wealth oil minerals This stuff here, this is what they always wanted. And this here, this is what British always craved. That's what they wanted. It's not British royals only, it's British collectively their natural resources countries are not rich in proportion to their natural resources if they were russia would now be the richest country in the world but they have not had an enterprise economy to develop those resources russia has everything oil gas diamonds platinum gold silver timber marvelous soil but has been poor so it is not this is what they wanted. This is what the, they always wanted. It's not about the British royals. This is about the British. This is what they wanted. This issues of being related to the Romanovs. Hey, I did explain them here on the blog. I am going to post links right below. Romanovs uh, murdered more Russians than Adolf Hitler did. Even if these people would be related to Romanovs, that would have been a really, really bad luck. But it was not bad luck. It was, a, in fact, a great good luck. It seems like it brought a good, good, good luck to Vladimir Putin. Vladimir Putin, one of the things he did for the British royals in 2013 again, what I find it bizarre because it's not listed under 2013. 2012, 2013, just as they threw me inside the psychiatric hospital, the first thing the British royals went after. What you see here, uh, excavated from mass grave near Yekaterinburg in 1991, yep. I participated in all this. I was going to finish this, I was going to finish with this stuff here, but I obviously made it impossible for myself to go around now and finish this stuff the way I planned on. So I'm going to open this here. I don't want to go through that stuff again. Russia exhumes bones of murder, Tsar Nikolov and wife, bones found, Russian, blah, blah, blah. no, no, this one here, we're going to go here. And we're going to go here. And we're going to go here. We're going to go here. I did not follow any of this stuff. Anyways, this to me, I'm going to explain to you everything, how much it mattered to me, how much it didn't matter to me. Okay. Uh, this is bizarre because... 
Uh, I will explain. 2007, this is the 98. No, 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 no. Uh, let's see this here. What I found interesting about the British history, I'm sorry to interrupt, is that, you know, we, we don't go by this year. We don't go by this year, you know. We don't go, we don't go, we, 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 we want to look like this. This article writer here was involved, almost every Russian article writer Related to the Romanos, writing about Romanos was, if any, was not involved. I think that all were involved in it. Is it the problem with this stuff also is that there was some famine that came up with uh, after the revolution. There was actually enormous famine that went on. And so the availability of poverty during the Tsarist Russia uh, you don't get to see one anywhere. You don't get to see the the truth about the Tsarist Russia anywhere. The pictures that we were demonstrated in the schools, in the books, even the books, I understand, they confiscated in Slovenia. They went to my books, British royals went over my books, completely studied absolutely all the material I have gone through in the school, browse whatever was of their interest. Um, even interrogated teachers and all kinds of stuff went on. So what I'm going to say to you is something like this. Um, no, this is supposed to be after they executed them, talking about Romanovs, um, and they executed them in a really, really barbaric way, by the way. I don't know whether they shot them first and they bayoneted them first. They say they bayoneted them first. And then they shot them. Definitely a bestial stuff to do. Anyone? Wild. Completely. Uh, somebody who would do this would completely uh, lost his mind. But uh, honest thing, honest because it was carried out barbarically. It was uh, carried out out of anger, out of rush to avenge, to retaliate. As much as the Russian people suffered during the 300 year of Romanov rule in Russia, there was no nation in the world anywhere near that would come that suffered under any kind of imperialism as much as they have. The suffering was such that walked in snow without shoes. They demonstrate everything with the shoes, whatever you're going to browse the internet, because this is what I insisted. And I know so. I know what the poverty was. I know so because of my own parents. I know so because of the people I have spoken with when I was a child, right here in Slovenia. It's far away from Russia. Should have been much better here. But we too were a colony of Austria. Hungarian, Austrian colony is what we were. And as much as our standard supposedly was better than the one in the Russia, We suffered here tremendously for suffering Russians endured, which I partially have described here. The average age of marriage for Russia, peasant woman was 20. That's during the Russian Tsarism. 
But the uh, aristocracy and middle classes, it was a few years older. Russia had one of the highest child mortality rates of the Western world. By the late 1800, around 47% of children in rural areas did not survive to their fifth birthday. Therefore, 50% every second child was dead before it reached the age five, which is really, really scary because you can imagine the poverty that you are born into. You do not have a chance actually to make it to age five. Now, that's what I call a bloodsuckers. A bloodsuckers that murdered more Russians 100 times more than what Adolf Hitler did. Uh, 130 million people in Russia, 300 years. How many generations are there? Are we talking about? And then go and count. And you're going to see what I mean by the hundreds of millions dead. Bloodsucking like the world had never witnessed to. And this bloodsuckers, according to Prince William, his relatives, suffered some kind of disease. He advocated them absolutely in absolutely everything. He was afraid of my word bloodsucker and he insisted that the only problem with Romanovs, which is out fucking insane, was they survived on black caviar and the red caviar. Do you know what a caviar is? Probably you know it is the most expensive food in the world, right? Um, what left them with a severe health consequence some kind of problem with the cells and so on, or whatever it was. Uh, so these people are completely degenerated, fucked up, uh, definitely mentally unfit, insane. Uh, they breed themselves like a rats behind the doors, behind the gates of the castles, and disseminated the poverty through which they ruled throughout the Russia for three centuries, no less. The thing about uh, 2013, this is what actually makes me wonder about what happened in 2013, because I participated in the excavations of this, uh, if, you, if you want to call them royals, Tsars, from Russia, Romanovs, yeah, here we have some statistics here. These are some statistics. Russia was a population of more than 130 million people. You know, that's a lot of people. Imagine the number already of the children that died from the hunger, from diseases, and so on. You don't even get this stuff in Africa today. Something like this. See, the average age of marriage for Russia peasant woman was 20. See what I told you about the children? I don't make this stuff up. What uh, scared the fuck out of me when I think about these excavations? Uh, yeah, I suggested here. I, 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 yeah, I, it's not in vain in nothing because I will get with a, with God's will. Despite everything these parasites from London, these bloodsuckers have done to me, I will get them to the court and I will get them to trial. I will trial them and I hope I will get their bones to the Russia. Where well, they claim they are Romanovs and I think their bones actually belong bones. They don't, they don't fit in Russia in any way, anywhere in Eastern Europe, but their bones do fit description of what the people when they executed the Romanovs were searching for hastily trying to retaliate avenge for something that is completely erased from the internet so there would be no actually if you google Tsarist Russia you're going to see the children and everybody with the biggest shoes 
wearing the shoes. Yeah, this, this is exactly what this was not about. That's exactly what was not. So that means that somebody browsed the photos and you don't get to see a lot of photos, you know. You only get a handful of photos, which is insane, actually. Where the fuck are other photos? I mean, if you pay attention to, you're going to read, the peasantry made up far the largest proportion of the population. It was the peasantry, the poverty was by the far was the largest, the one. It was not a dominant class's royalties and so on. They were, but the poverty was the one that it was such a big poverty that they couldn't stop on with the bullets. And they killed a lot of these poor people when they revolted against this tyranny. Against the vampirism, vampire, vampirism. They, a lot of bullets, they took a lot of people down, but they couldn't stop so many people. It was too much. These bones, whatever, bones of skin that was hanging from the bones. They, I guess, they couldn't stop them. Not even bullets could stop them at one point. Ah, this is actually, this, this shit is, is disgusting. When you go to Google and you, you Google about this stuff, how, how brainwash, I mean, in defense, lying, blatantly lying in the face of the people about, oh, I executed, oh, I executed, oh my God, oh my God, oh yeah. They murdered a hundred times as many Russians as Adolf Hitler did. And they were about probably 100 times more evil than what Hitler was. What the fuck is not to understand here? These are not a regular people. They were not ordinary people. And they were everything but people. What digs me in my brain in respect to 2012, 2013, because of these excavations that took place, and I don't, I don't understand what precisely this year is supposed to mean. This is what, it gets me confused. Why is it that, why did they suggest for 2015 about unearthing? I don't understand this stuff here. Russia exams bones and murdered. I don't get it. I don't get it because of what I stated. Something happened again in 2012, in 2013. What exactly happened? What exactly brought Russians to this house from Russia? Russians that post in front of the Slovenian police. <laughs> murder case. Hey, man, it's a murder. Really? It's a murder. What, uh, what, uh, 2015 investigator with Zoom remains in Russia. That I, so if this was something to do. Well, everything here that is written is bullshit. Do not believe any of this stuff here. I will explain to you exactly what happened, but not in 2015. What happened in 2012, 2013 is that Charles was completely out of his fucking mind inside of this very house here in the city of the Novo Mesto, and started to insist that whatever it takes, cry, completely insane. He went insane already for... He went crazier and crazier and crazier. His lunacy in respect to the bones, how that he should get a hold of the bones and take them to England, went on with this individual for some time. And I anticipate, in fact, that in 2012, 2013, there were caskets of these people shipped to Britain where 
Now King Charles had them stored in some place. This is what I anticipate have taken actually place. And what we see here, which I also had to participate, and I did not understand what the fuck they were saying. I did not understood what the fuck they were saying, because during MK Ultra, I strictly have supported my dear friend, ally, Prince Charles, whom I have seen, I've seen man like a, uh, I've seen man like somebody that is just like a regular daddy, papa, you know, like a regular father, well dressed. stressed out, which I didn't like, you know, I didn't like to see people stressed out. Somebody that appealed to me, like, was all stressed out and needed some kind of support, needed some kind of, was in, was in need of support, was in need of being supported, was in need of uh, not only emotional support, but outspoken support for the benefit of what he claimed were his relatives bones bones from the from the relatives bones it all started with a very positive environment and then with slowly psychologically looking like a drama with the police inside of this room here living area with the Charles in the kitchen, with the people in the kitchen, they, they, the police had me inside in here and was demonstrating me certain issues about the Russia, about these things and so on. And they were actually showing me even pictures of the poor people and stuff. I really did not. This was louder and louder in the kitchen. And I listened to this and I was... I, uh, I I felt that something is not okay with somebody over there in the kitchen, and uh, it appeared that this was Charles, and uh, Charles knew how to make himself look like exactly as I described. He knew how to make himself look like a like a father, like somebody that is like you know, man in his I don't know sixties. Um, pleasant, you know, but, you know, that he wants to have a bones, that he decided he, he had to have the bones from the relatives. And uh, being subjected to this type of bestiality, which was based on complete deprivation of absolutely everything, demonstrating you anywhere from women, watches, cars, castles, whatever, you name it, and not being allowed, basically, to get any of it. Uh, I, sure enough, because of a case of my own, because, because I was not, not sidelined, but like you would put me, literally like, truly as they refer to me, as an alien, as a, somebody in a spaceship, in a space uh, whatever, that is just hanging by the, like a little tube at, uh, for his uh, spaceship or rocket or whatever, before that's going to be cut and sent into the space. Um, genocided by the European Court for Human Rights, genocided by European Parliament in Brussels, genocided by American government, that only did came in support to psychiatry against me without absolutely any kind of rights here in Slovenia. Nothing. Uh, I felt related to one, to his concerns, deeply, 
I did not like the idea that he was uh, that he would not get uh, you know the bones that this is royals and that they did this and they did that and so on. They talked to me about this stuff and I don't know. I just felt that I felt basically the same like I felt for the neo Nazis. I came to the conclusion that what are you going to do with those bones? Soviet Union used to sell neo Nazis to Canada through the greater than Great Britain, probably America, wherever they had them settle. They settled them, British royals settled them in different countries. And I kind of give you a conclusion that these are actually dead people, their bones. So I decided to say, let them go. Let them walk, let them go their way. Let them have the bones that this man have. These are relatives. His relatives. And uh, on the other hand, they blew in my ears that, that this is a nice man. It was always this kind of story and it was always that kind of story. And so this man was in my house, practically. I could uh, possibly not disregard all the issues which I had no capacity to analyze entirely during MK Ultra and uh, exercise this type of judgment during MK Ultra. There was no way to go through all these things. So I I asked him to to assist him to give him his bones. What's interesting is after I did this, Charles changed his tune. He changed his approach to me. And uh, this shit, afterwards, did not end in one day. I had God knows how many Russians here, stuff that already went back in time before. And uh, they. Uh, They were not happy about it. Majority of them were not happy about it and that uh, I will be guilty and this and that. So we have another sale. Uh, this time, this is not from the Soviet Union concerning Nazis. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, evil even greater than Hitler in this case. which concerned uh, British royals. In the midst of this sale, once I have approved this bone transfer, which would happen, which would take place with or without me. This is just to put the curse on me. This is what the Russians want. This is what he wanted, he got. And now he deputized, he assisted the Russians. So they will say how evil person I am one day, if necessary, to demonstrate this guy is so fucking evil. Look what he did to us, whatever, you know. So Putin was definitely the one who deputized all that stuff. He, he handed, he was a maestro in this type of crime. He was the one who enforced, you know, against me everything. Uh, Prince Charles became bald. And he walked into the room and changed his song, which he didn't do the type of technology he did not use only on this particular occasion, but it was also other occasions that I got him doing the same thing. If you will not authorize this uh, I will get some other way I already did. So now there was nothing about thank you anymore. But it was about... He actually got his merchandise without even saying thank you. Or something like that. 
he just upgraded his crime into if you're not going to get this for me if he's you tell him if he's not going to get it from me i already going to get through somebody else and they continue to repeat this schizophrenia stuff after i already give them a green light to take these bones to england to britain this was in 2013 and this shit went on for another two years This was the last time that this concerned uh, this particular stuff. Actually, I'm wrong. This started in 2012. It dragged, it dragged, it dragged. There was Mount Everest of torture involved in it. And it all finally ended with uh, some sort of cabal, with some sort of uh, procession, some sort of ritual. It where you see right there. It, where it's where I was brought and also asked questions about and I did not understood what what is this about and they were looking at me like I'm weird like I'm crazy or something like that yeah I had to participate all the excavations all the unearthing from the Romanovs they were using me but it was used me also for 91 all this this is what I should tell you in the end of this video but fuck it I didn't get the result I anticipated for 2015 um <laughs> but it all ended it did not end there it ended with a harassment with a Prince Charles in England insisted me that uh, it's not going to make any difference I did not make any difference in it anyways she stated that once I'm going to learn who, how and this and that I'm going to be probably against it and he said that he said anyways um, he said you're not going to get this bone severed back again i have them in britain i have them stored in britain i'm going to have to give it to you already uh, i'm going to give you from somebody else from whatever the type of stuff that actually is surprising because I don't think it could be more toxic, hostile, more criminal, more angry, more uh, vicious. <laughs> yeah, this is the people. This is this is British royals. If you want to know, if you ever wondered how what kind of characters they have, well, this kind of character. This is classic. This is classic. This is a British classic. See what British are. And so um, I didn't have any kind of intentions to to go after absolutely anybody. Um, I deem that this is something that is between the Russians and British. Why would you involve me into this stuff anyways? But if you already involved me in it, and I had no idea at the time. I had no idea how this is going to end. These people did a lot of bad stuff to me. But the stuff, the way they do it, it's always mixed with giving exactly contrary to what I suggested signals. Let's play a nice guy uh, when they need, so they pose next to you. And yeah, in between, it's stuff like this and... A lot of torture and when it comes to torture they are always they were on the side observing supervising it or having their psychiatrists like Mosley for instance who passed away now report them on torture how it was done how much damage what kind of what did they notice and you know this kind of stuff um, shit right well, um, you, how can I say, I really have you a full dick. I'm sure you understand, because to get me to this level, for the average viewers that don't know me, I'm a person who just don't fucking complain. I prided myself with never ever complaining, regardless of how harsh, whatever. And... Uh, 
probably will tell you that at age 23 I settled for the work overseas out of 10 people maybe two stayed on the ship 16 hours a day 18 hours a day of work seven days a week it was one week and it was 50 percent that would be gone and it was another week and it was another three that were gone and it's a question too maybe we stayed i am worse than foreign legion 100 times worse than the, the toughest people that you see in a foreign legion doing crazy shit. Worse than the worst, the baddest of the bad. I don't complain. I had to set my mind to get through something I will bite my way through the wire if I have to. Nothing is going to stop me. British oils, uh, I was told... They fuck many people, is what I was told, by the police. They teach me that they fucked a lot of people. But there was none ever that got them. They stated to me that nobody, none ever made it to them. They bought a lot of people, you understand? Bought a lot of people, purchased by a lot of people. They don't fucking own anything here. Ain't nothing for sale here. They got it all wrong about this concept here. You got to be a extra motherfucker to get me to this stage, actually, to think like this, to understand you, basically, to analyze you, to forensically go after your, the way you think, use your patterns, which was exactly the goal of Prince Charles, of Prince William. That's what they wanted. They wanted to, to fuck you up mentally so much that you would lose control and you would not know what your priorities are, what you're supposed to do, you know, just lose yourself completely and fail through the serious health problems, though. All kinds of issues they create. Mm, it wasn't a problem about keeping it silent about any of this stuff. It never was a problem about the truth. They like the truth like this even to come out. Even... Don't, they don't mind this kind of truth to come out because of corruption, because corruption is so wonderful that it will cover up, it will pay for this stuff. And the baddest news, the worst news is as Prince Harry stated to me, but I asked him, they're not going to worry when I'm going to start talking about these things. He stated to me, no, because the worst news is the one that there is no news about you, when nobody talks about you. Oh, they have all kinds of news. They have their news they pay directly to publish wherever they want directly. If there is no, you know, like their official accounts, royal news or whatever that pertains to this Windsor or whatever, then they have this mainstream media where through which they purchase also their articles the way they want to be seen in the public. And they also have mentally ill people like myself, of course whom they purchased literally through the governments by engaging in a torture. And this is a necessary part of the successful people. There are also mentally ill people in a shadow. I don't know. Um, everything that pertains to somebody who is uh, mentally ill, envious and whatever, that's me, basically. Everything, absolutely everything. This is how they went and it was... They found uh, explanation for everything, for the psychopath, for the maniac, for um, pathological liar. British Royals explained to me literally in front of the computer, and they pointed me out the words, questioned me literally, if it pertains to me, how the public is going to see me. 
if I could look like this, could you look like this for every term? Could you look like that, or, or, or do you think the public is going to think it's us that look like this? Who is more likely? This is how they played. It wasn't about songs only. They didn't browse the computer only for the songs and misinterpretate and even purchase. Can you imagine? From your favorite Queen or U2 songs that you, every one of you should be actually ashamed. This is like many, 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 great many of them are really, really not positive. They're really not giving a positive message. It's really something, some shit that you don't actually want to hear when you want to feel good about it, right? Why would you listen to the song? Why should you listen to music if not to relax yourself, to feel good about yourself? I don't know. But they figure out for you instead they just go and they just purchase bananas that's what I see you with people as bananas as many as they want for whatever cost per kilo they want because it's so many so one of the things that I will open the docket a criminal case against British Royals also is going to be about excavation unearthing of bones so which I have to participate every on every occasion and then what in what was what truly digged me my brain what angered me the most is Prince Andrew that this will be just out of nowhere I mean stuff I already have talked about in the blog by the way I'm not making this up on this opportunity or whatever that he started to instigate on uh, well never help me if I would see myself in one of the killers who committed this stuff or will never help me out if I will advocates, killers of Romanovs. I don't know, I would love to make it myself uh, uh, like I would look like a debil completely. But tell me, why would I go and advocate something that is of no fucking interest to me in the first place? To me, Hollywood movies were no, no fucking interest. I had all the time people from Hollywood complain to me that I don't watch their movies, and, and I'm not. Uh, once I grew up, once I had a capacity to go hunt for the job, I didn't give a three fuck anymore about movies. I found myself stranded in Miami, drunk from no place, no how. And started to watch this Dementia, basically is how I see movies. But other than that, you know, in my case, you're not going to see other than documentaries. You're not interested in, in movies and stuff. Why the fuck would I be interested in such a family important matters? I mean, these people rated me as a brother as a son, as a, as, a, as a potential husband for every, every one of their females. Hello? Why the fuck would I go and see myself in the killers of people and some Romano family over there in Russia and advocate the killings of uh, what supposedly it was your family and so I, I didn't actually, I, sorry, but I didn't have hatred for the Russians that much. You got it all fucking wrong, eh? I didn't have any of that stuff. Uh, Russians earned the hatred for me because of the violence that started in my childhood. But I was open to the Russian women and matrimony and I bought myself a Russian car Hello, I was the one who drew that Lada. 
Where the fuck do you get this kind of stuff from? How much hatred do you need to succeed on your political stage? In, in your journals that you see as a grandeur. You really need more mentally ill person than I am, I will tell you that. You are imbeciles over there in London. I had no fucking idea you are such an imbeciles in London. That you are such an imbeciles. It's such an imbecilic city. Are you really so animals that you allow actually shit like this, dunk like this to stink the whole city, the whole country? I'm not angry, obviously, anymore at, at British royals about this stuff because it goes past absolutely everything reasonable and logical and normality that applied to, uh, I don't know, to the Soviet human experiments and so on. You're not ashamed of this stuff? It doesn't matter. You don't. It doesn't hurt you in any way. Stuff like this, that you would do this to somebody that is not affiliated to this issue in absolutely any way. I mean, or is it that you are so fucking hungry, thirsty, that I became so your existential source for your food, for your water, liquid, whatever? That you cannot survive without this type of practice. What it seems to me to be the case. I would warn everybody from Eastern Europe. When you travel to the Britain. Especially. Or you go to Scandinavia. Or, some, or even United States of America. Uh, if you encounter yourself. In some kind of environment. Where they will start to harass you. With minorities and stuff like this. Um, it's, there's like either two things you do. Um, you either pack up your stuff and leave, go back home, wherever you are from, you, it will be the best thing you possibly can do, because if you're not going to do this, they're going to use you for the same way they did me. It's how they do it, it's how they do business. They don't use their own people, they hijack people from other countries, including Asia, I think. Africa, Asia, then they portray them as a terrorists uh, in many ways, so they can look like humans, I guess, due to their glorious colonial neo-Nazi past. And or befriend those people if you have a security available enough to keep the doors locked, keep the safe place and you do have job and, and all that, then be friend with them as much as you possibly can. So they're not going to get the bitter end of you because it's, 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 it's how they do it. It's their, it's their, basically, this is their source of income. It's their existential line, basically. That's how they survive in today's world. That's how they do business, trades, you don't want to go be hijacked to some other countries and, you know, or meet people from politicians from other countries when they visit in Britain. So they can see themselves more in them in, uh, rather than in some kind of evil from another country, never mind how he got there or whatever. Um, it's imbecilic. It's totally imbecilic to, to do stuff like this to somebody. And it's also backstabbing. It's murderous as possibly it can be. How the fuck you go and you do with it? this kind of curses on me from all directions possible and helping what you claim is the adversary to fuck me. It's not very nice. Maybe Putin, maybe Vladimir Putin, when it comes to animals from Britain, uh, even purchased uh, through the bones of uh, Romanovs, maybe Kharkiv, maybe, or I don't know, Ukrainian Kiev. I don't know. I don't know. I just wonder why... Why would you go and you would do, what would we give you to authorize yourself to do this kind of transactions in the name of hundreds of millions of Russians that paid 
with lives, a tyranny that world have not seen anywhere. Worse than Adolf Hitler. Um, who the fuck are you to allow yourself stuff like this and use somebody else from another little country with two million people to, to advocate your agenda? You know, when you do the stuff like this, talking to the Russian people now, I did point it out, the issue here that, unfortunately, it's too late. You know, probably if you did give bones to, which Prince Charles was assuring me already before, he was assuring me when he already took in 91, that in 93 there was some bones that traveled to London, to Britain. I had to participate in this 91 excavation. They had the entire royal family. They had Slovenian police because, yeah, it's supposed that uh, Prince Charles, now King Charles, was very felt more secure in Russia next to the Slovenian police officers. It, it seems that this Slovenian police officers, the Slovenian law enforcement, give him some sort of extra guarantee or something say he's very insecure totally fucked up in his head um i honestly think i honestly i think for this is too late because these bones might not be anymore in russia but you know this misery this is today already five hundred thousand corpses russians corpses that already traveled back to russia it's like you unearth unimaginable, unprecedented misery in Russia. It's a bad luck that you unearth it. It's a very, very bad luck. And this bad luck could well result that you're not going to even have a homeland anymore. Because you, you know, you invited something that could well cost you not rich everything. In proportion to their natural resources. If they were, Russia would now be the richest country in the world. But they have not had an enterprise economy to develop those resources. Russia has everything. Oil, gas, diamonds, platinum, gold, silver, timber, marvelous soil. But has been poor. So it is not the free enterprise countries that believed in liberty under a rule of law with free enterprise and a market economy. <laughs> Um, look, I don't know how much what the cost is going to be the cost is the cost is enormous for ukraine the cost is enormous for entire slavic world my life was annihilated literally but i think that important is that that, that i get the message that i understand what my legacy in this life is It's regretful for me to say that I became, I did not become, but I was so dumped down. I don't feel like imbecile, but thanks to the reason, I do not. But... How can I say, when I stated already, that my job, my purpose to this world is literally repatriate bones of the royals, British royals, expedite them in form of bones to the Russia for this shit. Do you even understand what the fuck you have done? I mean, I know that you're fucking animals, but you cannot be so fucking animals that you don't understand this video. I know that you're fucking animals over there in London. I know. I know, I know it's a market that determines 
not the rule of law. I get it. The different type of rule of law. I get it. I don't know if you have bones over there in London, motherfucker, but I'm gonna come to fuck you up to London, that's for sure. And as long as I'm gonna be alive, William and his son Georgie and every one of fucking you is not gonna have no peace. Because I'm gonna do my best to get you destroyed. I am the righteous one. You are evil, unprecedented evil. You are so evil, you are such an evil that already consumed half of the Europe. And I'm afraid it's going to take some nuclear detonations even in Russia to recognize you for the ultimate evil so that you can rule Russia is what you think. If you somehow you're going to fail with that stuff, And then you're going to be very, very, very unlucky. If you don't make it all the way to the Moscow, you're going to be fucked. Because I mean it, that's why. 